know a lot of parents, when they heard the news of the school shooting today in Connecticut, their first reaction was to run and get their kids out of class. And when your children do come home, how do you talk to them about what happened today? Well, Sherry Lovray, director of the Crisis Management Institute, joins us now. And Sherry has worked in situations like this all across our country at other mass shootings. Sherry, let's get right to it. Kids are coming home from school right now. They've heard the news. Parents are trying to talk to them. What does a parent say on something so horrific as this to their child? Mm -hmm. I think the precept to that is for us to remember that kids will do as well as the adults around them. So one thing is for us to be calm when we talk to them and not visit or add to their fears, not add our own fears to theirs. So one part is that and another part is to turn off the television and what this is about is conversation. So parents do need to sit down and be able to find out what have you heard so far. The thing I worry about is people think that if their kids aren't talking about it that they don't know about it and then the only wisdom these kids have is the wisdom they have at their age with their friends. Mm -hmm. So my goal always is to have parents asking kids what do you know and clarifying rumors and then asking kids what will help them feel safe. Now, how do you go about that conversation um, when it comes to age? I, I have a five-year-old in mm -hmm. kindergarten, and I'm, I think she's probably oblivious to what happened today. Do I talk to her about it, and how do I change that conversation based on her age? Yeah, I think one thing is that, um, you know, we often as parents check in with our kids when they get home from school. Mm -hmm. And so one part is just trying to find out what they already know, because they may come home from school and not know about it. However, they're pretty apt to hear about it from someone. So my concern is I want kids to hear those things from their parents who can then talk about, let's talk about the things we can do to help you feel safe. So if a child doesn't feel safe sleeping in their own room for a couple of nights, it's okay to let them bring a sleeping bag in. Mm -hmm. Sherry, I saw something today that I have never seen. When the president addressed the nation at about 15 minutes after 12, I was in a public place where there was a little television set and there were a, more than a dozen people watching that television along with me. And as the president spoke, tears were rolling down their eyes as people watch this. This has really affected people all across. The, it doesn't matter if you have children. It doesn't matter if you're a parent. People are saying, what is going on? Why is this happening? Mm -hmm. And I think the piece about that is that, you know, they're all our children. And that I think we have lots of events that are horrific, but then we have a few that are watershed moment. And Columbine was one of those. And I'm hoping that this will be one that we as a nation and we as a people need to come to the place of being able to have civil conversation about how we need to address this issue because I agree with the president. It's happened too many times. Okay, uh, if you would like more help, more information on how you talk to your kids about this, Sherry has a website. We are linking her website on our website, coinlocal6.com. Sherry, thank you for being with us. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.